Hi, and welcome to the Sliding Snake Challenge on Khan Academy's Making Web Pages Interactive with jQuery uh, Challenge course. Yeah, the this is the Sliding Snake Challenge in the jQuery course. Cool. All right, so what are we doing today? Our directions say to slide the snake, and it says this web page includes an image of a rather scary snake, but it's hidden right now. In this step, use jQuery's slide down function to animate the snake coming down from the top of the page. Creepy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to an animate elements, which is really cool. So in the last video, we learned about hiding and showing elements. So we have this, um, well, first of all, we have all of our HTML and CSS here and here. So we have this image, we have um, this image in the HTML and it's being styled by this CSS right here. And then we have our script, which calls jQuery, the jQuery library, uh, and then a script source tag. And then we have our script tag where we can put our jQuery uh, code. All right, so we have this variable that has been created and it's storing the element with the snake pick ID. <laughs> and then we're using this, I guess it's called a function, this hide function. I would have called it a method, but I, I guess it's called a function. And then, um, yeah, so we can, one thing we learned in the last video was we can actually, I wanna see this snake that's being hidden, so we can actually show the snake using that show function in jQuery. Yay! Um, yeah, so now I know that's there, so I'm actually just going to get rid of that show, and I'm going to replace it with this slide down function, um, because that is what the directions are telling us to do. So it says, in this step, use jQuery's slide down function to animate the snake coming down from the top of the page. All right, slide down. Oops, not slid down, slide down. Cool, all right, so that animates the snake coming down from the top of the page. And like we learned in the last video, we can actually add a number here to make it go slower, really slow, um, by increasing this number right here, or really fast by decreasing the number. So if we have it at 10, it's so fast that it looks like it's hardly animated at all. All right, so let's do 1,000, and let's go on to the next step. It says, announce the snake. In this step, you'll announce the snake once he's slid down from the top. You can do that by adding two parameters to slide down, an amount to delay, and a post animation callback function. In that callback function, use jQuery to append text to the bottom of the page that announces the snake. All right, so I already added a parameter to slide down this number, 1000, um, which delays the uh, animation. And now we want to add a function. So here we go, adding a function. In that callback function, use jQuery to append text to the bottom of the page that announces the snake. All right. So, if we had text already in our HTML, I could um, just append it right here. If there was a div or something, um, I could edit and append it. But I don't see anything like that in the HTML yet, so we're going to need to create an element. So I'm going to go variable snake warning equals... And this is actually, yeah, um, what kind of element do I want to add? So I could add a paragraph element or I could add a header. I'm going to do a paragraph. So I'm using this jQuery dollar sign, the parentheses, and then quotation marks. Whoops. I just meant to show you that, not to change the order. <laughs> All right, so jQuery dollar sign, parentheses, uh, quotation marks and then our little carrots here and inside of those 
the type of element that we want to create. So I'm going to create a paragraph element and then I can say snake warning and now I'm going to change the text of the element so I'm going to go dot text parentheses and in the parentheses I'm going to put the text that I want to appear. Snake. Cool. Alright, so Hopper has hopped up and said congratulations. However, I think this is an error in this challenge because we have not finished yet. There is no snake text that appears on here. We have to do what the directions say and append text to the bottom of the page still. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go the jQuery dollar sign body and then append. And now I can put snake warning. Aha! And now we have our snake text that appears after this picture is animated in. Um, and I actually want to change the CSS of this snake because it's kind of weird that it's just this paragraph. So I can do that by going snake warning dot CSS uh, text size. So I'm I'm putting the um, thing I want to change the text size and then how I want to change it. So I'm going to make it bigger, 32 pixels, and I need that to be in quotation marks. Nope, that didn't work. What am I doing wrong? Text size. Hmm. Um, this, let me look at, um, a reference I pulled up earlier for, this is Stack Overflow, and I just wanted to quickly figure out how to change the font size or, um, in CSS and jQuery. So font size. Oh, I was saying text size. That was my issue. Okay. Um... So font size is what we want. That's what we want to change. Cool. All right. So had to look that up, which is, I think, what you have to do as a programmer um, because it was just the keyword I wanted, not actually a keyword, but the word I wanted was font size, not text size. That's not something I'm going to be able to remember, so I just had to look up how to do that. Um, I'm not going to be able to remember it for now anyway. Okay, so we did that. And let's change one more thing about it. Um, I'm going to change the color. Snake warning.css font color. Let's just see if that works. <laughs> um, red. Nope. <laughs> um, actually, I don't think I need font. I just need color. Pretty sure. Yay! Okay, cool. So we have completed this challenge, Sliding Snake. Really good job if you completed it, and I will see you in the next video.